Hello, this is Les. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate uh, a little steam or a little oil tractor that I built many years ago. It's been sitting on the shelf for probably 25 years or so. Um, I built it by copying the dimensions, measuring up the actual engine and taking a lot of photos. And uh, for the engine, I am using a little atmospheric engine that I modified to work on this tractor. I thought that would be a good choice since uh, an atmospheric engine, uh, when it runs, it makes a little popping sound. So the sound is very um, kind of reminiscent of what these engines actually sound like. The uh, engine was built to uh, a 120th scale, so it's about six inches high. And I found this publication, I believe it's a reproduction uh, of Remley products. And this engine, I believe, was made around the 19, early 1900s. Um, Going through this whole catalog, there is not a date any place. But the Rumley line uh, were located in Chicago, Illinois. And when this oil tractor was built, uh, they were still making they were still making steam engines. They have three different steam engines listed in this well, four different steam engines listed in this uh, advertisement um, and three oil tractors and the one I built is the 1530 Rumley oil pull type F um, the driver wheels were 70 inches tall and the piston let's see the cylinder had a 10 inch diameter and a 12 inch stroke and it, run at, it ran at a speed of 375 revolutions per minute. So when the engine was running it sounded like somebody beating on a bass drum uh, a steady cadence of about 5 to 6 beats per second. So when this was coming you'd hear this boom 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 and uh, just the one big piston. It was cooled with oil. They advertised that you didn't have to worry about it freezing up um, because the oil uh, was used as a coolant. And uh, again, the 1530 means that the, the engine produced 15 horsepower on the drawbar and 30 horsepower off the shaft of the engine or what they say uh, on the belt, so it could be belted to um, a sawmill or a separator or some, some device and it would produce 30 horsepower. Uh, I guess that implies that it took 15 horsepower to uh, just move the tractor. But in their literature it's kind of interesting, it says, in short it has the power of 15 good draft horses the endurance of 50 and cost less than 10. So I'm going to run this engine uh, in a little bit. Show it from a couple different angles here. This is the steering right here. And then this is the clutch lever right here that engages the, engages the clutch. If I can get a little more light on the engine here. 
Yeah, this is an, an atmospheric engine, um, also commonly known as a flame sucker. And the way it works, I have this little burner right here that I fill with alcohol that goes inside. Yeah, you know, I'll do that later. And uh, the flame is sucked into the cylinder, and then this little door closes and the flame cools and creates a partial vacuum and the vacuum um, causes atmospheric pressure to push on the outside of the piston on the bottom side of the piston and it pushes the piston back up to the top so it's just the opposite from uh, an internal combustion engine where the, the force on the piston is in the downward position in this case uh, the vacuum is created and atmospheric pressure pushes the piston back to the top. So that's why it's called uh, an atmospheric engine or a flame sucker. The flame, um, of course, is uh, air and combustion products at a very high temperature, which means it's greatly expanded. So when it's sucked into the cylinder and the little, the little door closes, like that, when the door closes, that's when the uh, partial vacuum is created in the cylinder. And again, like I said, atmospheric pressure uh, pulls the piston back to the top of the cylinder. I've, I've been using uh, denatured alcohol for fuel. doesn't hold very much and the engine doesn't doesn't run for very long You get a view of the of the engine there. Make sure the clutch is not engaged. It'll run off the table. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, you can barely see the flame burning. Alcohol burns so clean. And it has a tendency, before it warms up and runs good, it has a tendency to blow the flame out. So, probably have to keep relighting it here. <laughs> 